All right, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create your own website using a WordPress.com website. So WordPress runs like 30 to 40% of the internet and WordPress.com is a place where you can go to have your own WordPress website that is hosted by WordPress.com. They do all the background stuff, managing it, backups, plugins, things like that. And they allow you to start a website for free. So you're going to go to the link in the description. Uh, that's a referral link, and it's going to ask you to sign up for a WordPress.com account, and then it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. And what you're going to do here is, since we're going to be setting up just a personal blog, uh, you're just going to type in your name. So I'll type in my name, Aaron Olson, and Aaron Olson gives you some options to choose a paid domain. Um, but right now I'm just going to select the free option and it puts in a bunch of numbers after my name, but you probably don't want that. So put something unique. Let's try putting in my middle initial and see if I can get rid of those numbers. All right. So how about let's do Aaron Olson. Awesome blog. And it allows me to have that. So I'm going to select Aaron Olson awesome blog just for now. And you can totally get started with your own website or blog, the, the same thing. And you're going to select this free option. It's going to ask you to choose your hosting plan and you're just going to tap free. If you want to go pro later on, you can add things like plugins, things that add additional functionality to your website. Uh, but for now, you're just going to start with free and it's already building your website. And so we are here, we'll just click start writing. It's asking you to give the title of your blog. You're going to put that as your name. Tagline. I don't have one yet. Uh, well, actually, let's just put my thoughts and ideas. Write your first post, start writing. And here we are. We're just going to type hello world. This is my first blog post. And it's going to give you a lot of different options as far as tags and categories. Let's just for categories right now, we'll just put uh, uncategorized. And we'll publish it. And here we go. We can view our first post at Aaron Olson awesome blog dot wordpress dot com. And now one other thing that I would recommend doing is taking a look at what the homepage of your blog looks like. And we've already got a hello world world post. We've got hello world from WordPress. The theme that I think you should, a very simple theme that you should use if you're doing a personal blogging or a personal blog website, there's this very simple one called independent publisher two that I really like. So all we did was tap on change theme and you're going to tap independent publisher and activate. And this is totally your choice, what theme you want to go with. But I like independent publisher too, because it puts a picture of you at the top and 
uh, it's just a very nice, simple theme. Now, a couple of other things you might want to try is if you go to this customize this little menu in the lower right hand corner, you can customize your theme. And a couple things that I think you should consider adding to the sidebar of your blog are things like subscribe so that people can follow you by email. So to do that, we are going to go to menus. Oh, I'm sorry. Widgets. Sidebar. We're going to add something called add. We're going to tap add a block. You're going to uh, search for subscribe. And that is going to put a option to subscribe to your blog post so that anybody who comes to your website can subscribe, gives you a little, shows you what that will look like. We can click show more settings if we want to see, change the way that the button looks, things like that. We can place the button on a new line. That looks a little bit better, I think. So I'm going to click save changes. There's a lot of other things you can add to the sidebar, a lot of other customizations. But this is just a very basic introduction of how you create your own blog, website, and I hope that helps.